The next generation of giant telescopes will help scientists to unravel many of the unsolved mysteries of the universe. When its construction is completed in Mauna Kea, Hawaii, early in the next decade, the 30-meter telescope, TMT, will open an unprecedented window into space, providing an essential tool to address questions ranging from understanding star and planet formation to unraveling the history of galaxies and the development of large-scale structure in the universe. Founded in Canada and the USA, TMT is a multinational project with participants including China, Japan and India, which will be producing most of the TMT software. TMT will consist of a primary mirror with 492 individual 1.45-meter segments that together measure 30 meters in diameter, providing more than eight times the collection area of the current largest telescope. All segments will be under precision computer control so that they will work together as a single mirror. While size isn't everything, there's no doubt that a larger mirror can collect more light and resolve more detailed images. But the mirror diameter also impacts on the size, cost and complexity of almost every related system. And with a larger mirror size comes additional problems in compensating for the effects of wind and atmospheric turbulence. Observatory Sciences' participation in the TMT project began in 2011 when consultant Chris Mayer traveled to TMT project headquarters in Pasadena, California to participate in the cost and schedule review. Then, in 2013, with the first phase of construction moving ever nearer, Observatory Sciences was awarded a contract to undertake the conceptual design of the TMT telescope control system. The telescope control system is responsible for coordination and control of the various subsystems that make up the telescope. It must respond to commands from the observatory control system as well as from expert user interfaces. The telescope control system comprises a sequencer and status monitor, a pointing kernel, a corrections module and several adapters. The adapters provide high level control of the mount, primary, secondary and tertiary mirrors, as well as the enclosure. The pointing kernel converts target positions into pointing and tracking demands in the appropriate coordinate systems for the telescope mount, instrument rotators, atmospheric dispersion correctors, instrument and adaptive optics system, and the enclosure cap and base. The corrections module is responsible for the creation and management of the lookup tables that control the position and shape of the primary, secondary and tertiary mirrors as a function of zenith angle and temperature. It will also process data from the telescope global metrology system and provide appropriate position information to the other control systems. Vital to the TMT is adaptive optics technology to compensate for the blurring effect of the Earth's atmosphere and enable sharp views of the distant universe. TMT will use multi-conjugate adaptive optics to control a pair of deformable mirrors, adjusting them many times per second to correct optical wavefront distortions. The multi-conjugate adaptive optic system will produce diffraction-limited images over a 30 arc second diameter field of view, enabling astronomers to see both fainter objects and finer details. Operating in wavelengths ranging from the ultraviolet to the mid-infrared, TMT will provide new observational opportunities in virtually every field of astronomy and astrophysics. Observatory Sciences is also involved in the European Extremely Large Telescope, which will boast a 39-meter primary mirror and has undertaken studies under contract to the European Southern Observatory to review software options for the telescope controls. Observatory Sciences, providing big science software solutions.